Hey, what's going on, everybody? You know, I'm trying this new um, Rode Go Micro Go, I think it's called, and uh, I attach it to my GoPro, so I'm talking at a distance. But today, let's talk about sizing when it comes to the 777XHS from Ironheart. I get a lot of questions about sizing, especially on the waist side how I size my uh, pants, you know, my jeans, my salvage jeans, if I buy something like this. So, uh, not a big deal, right? I mean, I've talked about sizing in the past, but very quickly, maybe we should talk about it uh, in regards to the sizing of the waist and the sizing of the, the length of the, of the jeans that I buy, uh, so that you can make a decision on whether you should buy the same thing or, uh, you know, whatever it is that fits you well when it comes to sizing. So. I just came back from a ride and I wore my 777XHS to, um, to my ride and uh, it's very comfortable. I love this pair of jeans right here and uh, like I mentioned before, I love the 666S as, as well from Ironheart as well as other salvage jeans, but I think I have a new favorite. Well, I mean, you know, it's a new pair of jeans and I'm still breaking it in. So, but let's talk about it. Uh, I hope this video this uh, audio right here works and uh, talking for you from a distance you know first and foremost before you go to the sizing of the waist and the length I guess you need to make a decision on whether you should buy uh, a design that's a straight cut right uh, some people like the skinny jeans or skinny cut some people like the baggy jeans or boot cut whatever it is for most of my salvage jeans, I base my measurement on what I actually wear when it comes to my favorite jeans, which is the 501. So on 501, I am a true 34, 30, and it gives me a little bit of a space between my skin and the size of the jeans. You know, put my two fingers maybe, so it's loose enough, but it's not too loose. And then when I wear a length, 30 inseam length, it just goes right on the top of my boots without any break or anything like that. So that translates to my decisions on what I do when I buy salvage jeans. So a great example is this Ironheart six, uh, 777. When I bought my first though, when I bought my first one, my 666S, the recommendation of the website is to buy the salvage jeans on sand fries based on the fact that it will stretch out over time. So I've had to size down based on the chart that they offer when it comes to sizing jeans like this on the, inter um, on the Ironheart website. So I ended up getting a size 33, but I wanted also a longer length, so I get a size 34 so that I can cuff it. Uh, that was just that was the 666s. Now, the problem with that is breaking, breaking in the 666s, and the length of time it takes for everything to stretch out. So, by the way, even if the waist is smaller, the thigh is smaller as well, um, which means everything is tighter, right? So, an old man like me, there's just a certain amount of time that I can deal with uncomfortableness when it comes to clothing. Right? I like my things to be a little bit more comfortable out, out of the box. So I decided to order a bigger size when I bought the 777. 666 and 777 are the same cut. It's like regular straight, in my opinion. Um, but the material is different because the 666S has 21 ounces and the material for the 777 is 25 ounces so a much you know heavier material um, I was pleasantly surprised that out of the box the 777 is wearable it's not as stiff as the Brave Star 25 ounce for example right um, it's just much more you know it, it's just softer easy to wear Like any other decision making, there's a downfall, I guess, when you uh, compromise, right? And that's what I did with when it comes to buying the 777. I bought a bigger, 
uh, a, a larger size, which is my true size, 34. But essentially, it, was, it is supposed to stretch out to about 35 or a 36 even with use, right? And I know that going into buying that. I'm not worried about the length. I, I always get whatever the stock length is, 32, 34, because I like to cuff it. In this case, I think it's a 34 from the factory. So I just went ahead and just left it there so I can cuff it. So I'm not worried about the length. I'm worried about, well, I'm not really worried about it. So the whatever came out of my decision making, I know what I'm going to, you know, the compromise is that it will get bigger, hopefully anyways, naturally it will stretch out to a size 36. Um, so that probably defeats the purpose of really having custom jeans or jeans that are expensive, it's supposed to fit you well, it's supposed to last you forever, for some. But for me, because I don't wear it much, uh, I don't think it's gonna stretch out that fast and I don't think I'm gonna have a problem. My solution to that problem is easy. If it does stretch out, what, I can wear a belt, right? Um, which I do now anyways, or I can get it tailored to make it smaller. So it's not a problem. Aside from that, I have no complaints about the pair of jeans. I think is it's worth the price of how much it is brand new uh, and just the story behind it, you know what I mean? The, the heritage behind Ironheart is, for me, is just worth buying. If I have to buy a pair of jeans, I've, you already know that I highly recommend the Brave Star as well. But if I have to bear only thing I can buy right now is one pair of Selvage jeans, I'll probably buy the 777 because, like I said, this is extra heavy Selvage, heavy duty, uh, which means it will fade faster, it will get soft faster, and it will be much more comfortable faster. So that's just my, my thing about it, right? Now, I offer this information to you because I want you to make a decision on whether this is the pair of jeans you want or look around and see what fits you, your budget, your style, and whatever it is. But you can't go wrong with buying a pair of Selvage. Um, the sizing for the most part when it comes to unsent fries and sent fries are all the same. I recommend you to go to the website, read it, take measurements of your favorite jeans, base it on that, you know what I mean, when you purchase, uh, and then know what you're getting into because for the most part, for majority of the population, you know, buying a pair of salvage this expensive is like buying a pair of uh, a handbag, right? Expensive handbag for women. I'm not comparing men and women here. I'm not saying men are like women, but we also have our addiction, and this is our, my addiction anyways, as a salvage head is buying expensive jeans that have a story behind it and the heritage. Well, I decided to finish this video using my GoPro anyways and this uh, Rode Micro Go microphone, which is, I think, pretty awesome. Um, and I'm gonna go riding anyways. That's all I have for you this week. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my day. Hopefully that helps you. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, spread the word, the word about heritage style and the heritage style that I do here, as well as, you know, building the Jeeps and my hustle to keep this channel going. Aloha. Beautiful today.